College Jaipur. Today uh, we have a seminar on genitourinary tuberculosis and this would be presented by our resident, Dr. Saurabh Negi and would be moderated by our faculty, uh, Professor Dr. Yadav, SS Yadav. So I would request now Dr. Yadav to go ahead and invite our presenter. Hello, Dr. Negi. Yes, sir. Uh, start, start your presentation. Hmm? Okay. okay, sir. <clears throat> sir, my screen is visible or not? Yes. Yes. Sir. Good morning, respected teachers. Uh, Good morning, respected teachers. Today, myself, Dr. Saurabh Negi, resident doctor, Department of Urology, presenting a seminar on the topic tuberculosis of the genitourinary tract. My moderator is Dr. Professor S.S. Yadav, sir. One quarter of the world population is thought to be infected with mycobacterium tuberculosis uh, complex with an incidence of 10.4 million and average uh, death of 1.5 million in 2016. More than 90% of the GUTB occur in the developing countries with a frequency of 15 to 20% with the pulmonary TB. It's the second most common extra pulmonary site after the lymph node. In contrast to frequency of GUTP in the developed countries, uh, which is the 2 to 10% with the patients of the pulmonary TB. GUTP is the third most common form after the pleural and lymphatic TB. Uh, infection and the host immune response Initially, the infected aerosols reach the alveoli from which the macrophages kill the bacteria. If they still persist alive, then it reaches to the lymphatics from where it uh, reaches to the hilar lymph node. And finally, from the hematogenous uh, root spread to the distant organ. And it, it is also the most common uh, cause for the GUTB. In the host response, initially it formed the granuloma, which is centrally uh, formed by the uh, forming macrophage cells, epithelial cells, Langerhan cells, and surrounded by the cuff of the lymphocytes. 90 to 95% of the uh, tuberculosis are in the latent form in which the bacilli stop the replicating, become dormant, and granuloma calcification form. Development of the uh, GO disease. Most commonly, the hematogenous spread. The primary landing sites are the kidney and the epididymis, from which the contagious spread to the other sites. It can be due to the ascending and retrograde infections. The bladder irrigation with the BCG has an incidence of 0.9%. It can as a present with the cystitis, pyelonephritis, renal abscess, ureteric obstruction, prostatitis, and epididyma orchitis. There may be the contagious spread from the spine, psoas, and from the GI tract. And there can be a direct inoculation from the infected stool urine and person to person genital inoculation. Pathology in the kidney. Initially, the uh, TB bacilli reach the periglobular capillaries via the uh, hematogenous route from where they form the granulomas. And uh, later on, uh, there is a casation necrosis leading to cavities and necrotic material, which form the frank abscess. Uh, or either call it rhinonephritis or parenchymal and papillary necrosis, which finally lead to the inflamed uh, calyxis, leading to the distortion and dilatation of the kidney. Disease can further progress to become a non-functional in 33% uh, percent of the cases leading to the autonephrectomy. The basic, there are two types of autonephrectomy. One is casio-cavernous type and another one is fibrotic type. In the casio-cavernous type, the viable tissue is replaced with the granulomas and cavities filled with the inflammatory exudate. In the fibrotic type, there is a severely scarring, uh, scarring and calcification uh, resulting in the shrunken kidney. Pathology in the ureter, basically it's from the descending uh, infection from the kidney. Bacilli uh, in the urine lead to the granulomas in the ureter. Uh, inflammation lead to the scarring, usually the distal uh, ureter and the VUG. There may be a pan ureteral structure lead to the beaded coxview appearance. Distortion of the ureter can uh, lead to both obstruction and reflux. The uh, urinary obstruction is a major cause for the uh, renal failure in case of the GUT. Pathology in the bladder can be due to the descending infection, which usually start from the uretic orifice and sp uh, spread by the lymphatics. The uh, dome is the most commonly affected site. Uh, there is a relative sparing of the trigon at the bladder neck. It can uh, present as a patchy cystitis or large granulomas with ulcerations or with the hematuria. 
In the delayed phase, there is a mucosal scarring, bladder contraction, uh, reduce the bladder capacity and uh, as a thimble bladder with a capacity less than uh, 20 ml. Pathology in the epididymis and was second most type of the GOTB, uh, which usually spread by the hematogenous spread with the incidence of 10 to 55% of the GOTB. It can present the bilateral in the 34% of the cases. Initiation start from the globus minor, which is the most vascular part. Infection can spread to the wash leading to thickening and the bleeding. Pathology in the testes, isolated testicular involvement or epididymal presentation is a rare. Granulomas in the seminiferous epithelium and connective tissue replace the uh, whole uh, testicular uh, 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 tissue and uh, lead to the fibrosis. There may be the hydrocele in the 5% of the cases. Pathology in the prostate and the seminal vesicle. There may be the two uh, cause for the uh, involvement, either hematogenous or urinary contamination. In the hematogenous uh, spread, the lesions are generally in periphery, asymptomatic and progressive calcification of, of the gland. In the urinary route, it involves the urethra, can present as a bacterial prostatitis with the, on DRE, uh, there may be a prostatic nodule or fluctuation. In case of the seminal vesicle involvement through the wash or ejaculatory duct, there may be granulomas in the wall and casation in the lumen leading to the calcification. Patient may be present as a low volume ejaculate, oligospermia, azospermia, and hematospermia. On the examination, gland may be hard in the early disease and nodular in the advanced cases. TB of urethra and the penis. Ure urethra is comparatively resistant to the TB. It usually associated with the prostate. Uh, in the penile TB, which is a very rare, uh, this uh, inflamed papule and keratotic uh, uh, plaques known as to be the lupus vulgaris. Another form known as the artificial TB, which is a rapidly necrotic form, usually found in the immunocompromised patients. Generally, uh, they are from the uh, autoinoculation from the infected stools and the urine. Papillonecrotic tuberculite is a basically a cutaneous manifestation of TB of the glands penis. There is a, uh, in, in which there is a painless red papules ulcer, which typically culture and PCR negative. It is basically hypersensitive in reaction to the microbacterium tuberculosis antigen, which disseminated to the skin and respond to the empirical TB treatment. In the clinical manifestation, uh, they are generally present as the lower urinary tract symptoms most commonly, up to the 50% of cases having only dysuria and 50% have a storage symptoms. And the 33% have the hematuria and the flank pain. Less than 20% case will present as the constitutional symptoms like fever, anorexia, weight loss, and night sweat. Renal colic in the less than 10% due to the passage of the necrotic peptide tissue or a clots. Hematospermia can be present in 11% of the cases. Sometimes infertility, uh, infertility can be the only first presentation. Signs in the external signs of epididymis is thickened, non tender, nodular. Vas can be often thickened and beaded. Scrotum, a chronic draining posterior sinus is almost a pathognomic of the tuberculosis. Penis and urethra, there is a rarely ulceration, urethral discharge, and strictures. Uh, in the kidney, the chronic renal fistula with a prior history of renal surgery, uh, prostatic nodules on the uh, rectal examination. The typical lab finding includes sterile pyuria and or hematuria. This combination is found to be more than 90% cases of the GUT. In the diagnosis, the primary goal of diagnostic workup is isolation of microbacterium tuberculosis in the culture for the drug susceptibility. When the culture or the DNA test are negative, a tissue sample uh, demonstrating caseating granulomas can support the diagnosis of the TB. If the both are negative, then the diagnosis by clinical findings with a probable exposure and response to the empirical TB treatment. In the workup, initially the routine investigations like CBC, ESR, RFT, LFT, CRP are done to assess the severity or renal function and response to the treatment. Uh, then uh, we can go for the AFV smear in which uh, uh, AFV is in the urine for ZN staining, which has a sensitivity less than 50%, for which the, uh, they required 5 to uh, 10,000 of the bacilli per ml with the minimum uh, concentration of 50 ml uh, midstream uh, specimen of first body in morning urine. Urine culture is a current. Gold standard for acid fast bacilli culture. 
first voided urine is the best sample. Three to five consecutive samples should be collected to yield maximum. Culture immediately after the collection as the urine acidity can retard the microbacterial growth is that it has a sensitivity as high as 80 to 90 percent. Any tissue obtained from biopsy or surgery should also be cultured. Uh, culture medias, there are basically two types of solid culture medias. One is a Lowenstein Jensen's medium, which usually take four to six weeks and uh, medium of choice in the developing countries. Another one is a, a solid agar based uh, media, which is a middle group 7H10. With this medium, we can uh, colonize the bacteria one week earlier than the LJ medium. And it is basically used in developed countries. Uh, liquid based culture media, which is the back tech, which use the oxygen super, sat super saturated system. Oxygen in the system prevent the flow from reaction. It takes the duration of the 10 days with a sensitivity of 95%. The current guidelines recommend culturing at least one solid media with concurrently with the liquid system. Antibiotic susceptibility can be tested using any of the culture methods. Nucleic acid application test. Uh, the results are available within one to two days. NART can aid the detection of patient with a low bacillary load. Non-respiratory specimens like urine has a low uh, 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 sensitivity because of the presence of the uh, natural inhibitors that can interfere with the DNA and RNA amplification processes. There are various PCR tests available which include the genus-specific 16S RNA, RRNA PCR test, spe uh, species-specific uh, IS-6110 uh, PCR test, Roche Amplicot MT-PCR test, ampli uh, Amplified Mycobacterium tuberculosis direct detection test, and most recently is Gene Expert, which also detect the rifampicin uh, resistance and uh, also act as a surrogate for the MDR3. The, these tests have a reported sensitivity ranging from 70 to 100%. In the histopathology, the histo histopathology consists with TB in 38.3% cases in the developed countries. Urine culture is sometimes negative. The tissue biopsy can aid the diagnosis of the GOT. Although microbacteria are often not seen, but caseating granulomas in appropriate con clinical context can help to establish the diagnosis of the GOT. The screening test, the, basically two types of screening tests are available. One is a tuberculin skin test and uh, second one is the interferon gamma release assay test, both of which do not differentiate between the latent and active TB. The ideal use for these uh, tests are the screening of the individual for the presence of the latent TB infections. In the radiological examination, plain X-ray KUB show the calcification in more than 50% of the cases. In the renal lesions, in early, early cases, the, there is a faint punctate calcification with the renal parenchyma. In the late cases, there may be globular calcification corresponding to the TB mass. There may be a papillary calcification in the collecting system in case of the papillary necrosis. And in the end stages, there may be a cement and putty kidney with a small shrunken calcified uh, with calcific rim outlined the renal lobes. This is an X-ray showing the right kidney with variable size of calcifications. The classical lower pattern of uh, calcification, which usually uh, seen in the end stage renal TB, also known as a putty kidney. I view the gold. It's a gold stand imaging for the early renal TB. It has excellent uh, for the delineating anatomy, calcification anatomy, and distortion. More than 70% cases generally involve the single kidney. It usually used to assess the extent and severity of the involvement and also to monitor the response of treatment and look for the complications. Uh, this is an IVU film showing the earliest abnormality with the irregular uh, calcis due to the papillary necrosis with the normal renal size and contour, uh, look like a moth eaten appearance. The similar another picture showing the absence of upper calyx secondary to the tuberculosis with smooth tapered infundibulum. This is also another picture showing the renal pelvic calculus with high, high upper renal pelvis with upper pole showing the calcification with the tubercular cavity. This, this is another uh, picture showing the 
i view film in which the, there is a high cup renal pelvis with the upper pole calicial distortion with the cavity similar uh, another image uh, the there is a lower pole caseous necrosis cavity with the upper pole uh, calicial distortion this is uh, another iv film showing the, the cortic of the whole uh, cortical destruction calicis with the scarred pelvis and the kinking of the pelvis near the puja junction uh, look like a kerking sign is another film of ivp in which the collective large papillary cavity just uh, near to the blunt calyx look like the golf ball on the t appearance is a ureter showing the irregular ulcerations sort of appearance this is a uh, this is a multiple ureter structures which create the long irregular narrow ureter uh, appear as a beaded and cox cox shaped appearance of the ureter uh, this is a rigid ureter with the irregular and lack of the normal peristalsis with fibrotic structures uh, like a pipe pipe stem ureter and this is a uh, iv iv showing the irregular contracted bladder with irregular uh, right fuge structure and lastly this is a uh, diminutive irregular severely contracted bladder uh, uh, look like a thimble bladder ct urography it's the most frequently used modality for imaging tb in the developed countries where it has largely replaced the iv it can detect the lesion as small as 3 to 4 mm with uh, iv contrast we can assess the renal function renal uh, reveals the calcification scarring and sign of the obstruction it can also tell the extra renal spread with associated uh, spinal and solid organ involvement the main disadvantage is uh, it uh, it has a less sensitivity to detecting the minimal urothelial thickening subtle uh, papillary necrosis and other changes for which the iv is still the preferred study it impart a higher radiation of the dose than the iv this is a ct film showing the left side cal uh, calcification with calcial distortion this similar another uh, image there is a right side hydronephrosis probably due, due to the infant infundibular narrowing and a left side atrophic kidney with the multiple calcifications this is a ct film showing the multiple uh, left side uretic structures with uneven calcification without any uh, uh, without any pcs dilatation or is a distortion of the uh, scarring and distortion of the renal par parenchyma retrograde pyrography uh, it is basically used in a ckd patients or the contrast allergy patients it can also use in uh, conjugation with iv so to show the uh, whether the cavitations are obstructing or non obstructing or whether communication with the collecting system is there or not it can also uh, used to assess the non functional kidney to demonstrate the ureteric obstruction and cavitation in the kidney it can also tell the length and the degree of the obstruction and dilatation it is a retrograde pyrography showing the upper pole calicial stenosis with the papillary necrosis antigrade pyrography generally if the retrograde assess is not possible or if there is a need of uh, to aspirate the pelvic urine or the cavitations uh, it also used for the placement of the nephrostomy tube the sonography it basically used in a pediatric and pregnant patient as a lack of radiation it also used to evaluate the testes epididymis transrectal sonography for the prostate and the seminal vesicles sonography can also locate the abscess and cavities in the kidney primary use of the sonography is in the follow up case of the hydronephrosis in patient receiving the medical treatment as the fibrosis during the healing can worsen the urinary obstruction MRI it is also used in the pediatric and pregnant patients the small lesions uh, appear hypertense in the T1 and T2 images the large lesions are uh, centrally hyper uh, show the central hyperintensity in the T2 because of the increased cellularity it is more sensitive than i view in a urothelial thickening and the calcification 
uh, diffusion with image can differentiate between the hydronephrosis and the pyonephrosis. Cystoscopy and erotoscopy. Although there is no patho uh, pathognomic findings on the cystoscopy, but uh, there may be local hypermia, mucosal erosions, ulceration, granuloma, and irregularities in the ureteral orifice. A goal for uretic orifice in the cystoscopy can uh, suggest to, suggestive an indication for the upper tract imaging. Biopsy can be diagnostic in only 19 to 52% of the cases. These are cystoscopic finding uh, images. In the image number one, uh, see it shows the uh, glandular growth, granulomatous growth, and in the second, it shows the mucosal ulcerations. And uh, in the rest of the images, is a classical uh, golf hole ureter, which is uh, generally found in the tuberculosis patients. In the treatment part, the most TB patient can be treated with the medically, even those with the MDR. Surgery is adjunct to the antibiotics in the advanced cases. Medical therapy includes uh, for the active TB uh, standard short course of four drugs for two months, uh, followed by the two drugs for the four months. The first line drugs includes rifampicin, isoniazid, pyrazomide, ethambutol, or streptomycin. For the latent uh, infections, uh, there, is, there is need of six to nine months of isoniazid only. According to the categories, uh, there are two categories. Uh, one is category one, which is all uh, new, newly diagnosed tuberculosis patients. And in the category two, the previously uh, treated patients which are positive, uh, smear positive relapse or failure or defaulters. So in the category one, uh, for the initially intensive to uh, two months, there is a, a three week, three weekly dr uh, drug for the uh, drug for of the four drugs which is HR and ZD, H stands for uh, isoniazid, rifampicin, uh, pyrazomide, and ethambutol. And for the four months, there is uh, isoniazid and rifampicin. In case of category two, the, there is a two month of five drug regimen, which is uh, uh, HRZES, including streptomycin. And for one month, there is uh, only uh, HRZD. And for the five months, there is three drug regimen, which is uh, isoniazid, rifampicin, and ethambutol. If the both uh, if the uh, category one and uh, category two should extend for one month, if the smear is positive at the end of initial intensive phase. Guidelines for the GOTP, it can be treated with this uh, short course, six month first line antituberculosis drugs. Uh, there are uh, certain uh, situations which, uh, which require the nine months of treatment, which include the extensive pockets of the infection, the concurrent smear, positive cavity, pulmonary TB, central nervous system involvement or delay in the positive culture converting to the negative. Unable to the, uh, take pyrazinamide for at least two months can uh, prolong the duration for the nine months or longer. These are the first line antituberculosis drugs, which include the isoniazid, rifampicin, rifabutin, rifapentin, uh, pyrazinamide, and ethambutol. These are the second line drugs which are used for tuberculosis. Includes the streptomycin, capremycin, amicacin, cyclosine, ethanomide, levofloxacin, moxifloxacin, paraminosalicylic acid, and linozolid, and lastly, the recently uh, uh, bidaculin. Uh, corticosteroids, because of the anti inflammatory effect of the corticosteroids, can prevent the unchecked uh, host in, uh, immune response. So it uh, basically used to prevent the excessive tissue destruction and scarring. It can also prevent the ureteral strictures and uh, bladder contraction. Generally used in a severe case of tubercular cystitis, steroid may reduce the mucosal inflammation and improve the symptoms. It also used in the TB meningitis, uh, severe, severe pulmonary TB and the TB pedicarditis. Results, uh, short course treatment is highly responsive but it's almost impossible to isolate mycobacterium tuberculosis from the urine after the two weeks of the chemotherapy. It can be considered cured by the six month, but it, uh, it has also relapsed rate of six to uh, 22%. Investigators have recommended to follow up for the 10, uh, 10 years as the average time of relapse was the 5.3 years. In the drug resistance, the MD, MDRTB resistant to the isoniazid and rifampicin account for 3.3% cases of the world for which we use the ethambutol, uh, pyrazinamide, strepnomycin, or ethanomide uh, plus ciprofloxacin or 
ofloxacin regimen is used. Treatment should continue for 18 to 24 months or 12 months after the culture becomes the negative. The cure rate is a 50 to 60 percent compared to 94 to 97 percent in patient of drug susceptible TB. Another form is uh, XGRTB, which is extensively uh, drug resistant, which include the MDRTB plus the quinolone resistance with resistance to at least one injectable. Uh, drug regimens involve the five to six drugs for at least two years or more. The cure rate is only 30 to 50 percent of cases. Special circumstances. In case of the hepatic failure, uh, isoniazid, uh, rifampicin, pyrazinamide should avoid or decrease the dose. There is no change in uh, ethambutol and streptomycin. In the renal failure, if the GFR is more than uh, 30 ml per minute, there is no need of change of the dose. If GFR is less than 30, so isoniazid, uh, ethambutol and pyrazinamide should decrease the dose and it should avoid the streptomycin. The surgery, about the 55% cases of patients with uh, GOTB will require the surgical intervention. The current uh, focus is basically organ preserva uh, preservation and the reconstruction. More than half of operation performed for the TB are the reconstructive. The optimal timing is a four to six week after the initiation of the medical therapy. The initial procedure to relieve the obstruction is generally a retrograde ure uh, uretic stenting, which is successful in the 41% of the cases. Uh, if, uh, uh, if it is not possible, then uh, we can uh, go for the integrated ureter uh, stenting by the percutaneous puncture. And uh, it is still not, if it is still not possible, then uh, PCN is left in place until the definitive surgery. Nephrectomy. Uh, indication would include the non-functioning kidney with recurrent TB despite of the medical therapy, non-functioning kidney with the medically resistant hypertension, and coexisting renal carcinoma. The overall nephrectomy is performed in 27% cases of the GUTB patient. There is an individual ligation of renal artery and vein to avoid the uh, risk of the AV fistula. Laparoscopic approaches are preferred, although there may be a uh, severely uh, scarred kidney with uh, perirenal fibrosis. Uh, Uretropelvic and ureteral surgeries includes the upper and mid uretic stitches can be managed there, uh, but can be managed with endourological endo treatments. For the lower uretic stitches, require the open surgical intervention. In the acute phase, we can just put a digestant or uh, PCN with a, uh, uh, tubercular therapy. If there is deterioration or no improvement after the six week, the surgical uh, reimplantation or dilatation may. In the endoscopic management, the digestant or there will be abandoned dilatations. In the open surgical options for the uretropelvic junction obstructions, uh, there may be dismembered pyeloplasty for the extradinal short segment scarring. For the longer segment, they uh, require the non dismembered uh, flap pyeloplasty. In case of a severely uh, scarred renal pelvis or intrarenal pelvis, they need of uh, uretrocalcoscopy. For upper and middle uretic structure, procedure required may be a ureterostomy or Davis intubated uh, ureterostomy. For the lower uretic uh, structures, procedure required according to the length of the defect, which may be the ureteroneocystostomy, swassage, body flap, or ileal interposition. Bladder surgery is required if the capacities become less than 100 and lead to the intolerable symptoms, which includes the augmentation cystoplasty and bladder substitution. In case of the thimble bladder with the capacity less than 50, uh, less than 20 ml, require the ortho orthotropic bladder substitution. The augmentation, the general contraindications include the bowel disease like irradiated bowel, uh, IV, uh, inflammatory bowel disease, short cut syndromes, psych uh, psychiatric disturbances. Renal failure is not contraindication if the patient with the GFR is, is more than 30 ml per minute. Types of uh, cystoplasty include the cholecystoplasty. Uh, seco cystoplasty, ilo seco cystoplasty, gastro cystoplasty, and ilo cystoplasty. Prostatic and urethral surgeries indication would be bladder neck contracture, severe granulomatous prostatitis, tuberculous prostatic abscess, urethral strictures, uh, tuberculous urethral fistulas. Epidermectomy. The indication could be the cagetting abscess not responding to the chemotherapy, firm swelling that remain unchanged or slowly increasing despite of the antibiotic and uh, anti tubercular chemotherapy. Complication could be the uh, testicular atrophy in 6% of the cases, or orchidectomy may require in the 5% of the cases. 
vessel and epididermal obstruction generally present as a infertility surgical interventions are generally unsuccessful so in vitro fertilization is often required to the achieve pregnancy uh gotb in the special situations in uh, hiv infection there is a 30 times in, uh, increased risk of the hiv uh, sorry uh, risk of a tuberculosis among the hiv uh, persons in the world 25% of the death are due to the tuberculosis there are less causation necrosis and fibrosis due to the incompetent immune system uh, daily uh, instead of intermittent the daily uh, regimen is uh, recommended in the TB, uh, hiv patients Rifamycin, rifampicin, and rifabutin may decrease the serum level of the antiviral drugs. Renal transplant recipients. Allogra TB is a rare. Presentation could be six months to the seven year. The imaging has a poor sensitivity and the normal signs and symptoms are generally absent. Fever is the most common symptom. Rifamycin and the immunosuppressive agents have a drug interactions. So, if the rifamycin free regimen can lengthen the duration for treatment for at least 18 months. The pregnancy and the patient during the pregnancy therapy should initiate it as a risk of fetus from the TB can uh, outweigh the risk of the adverse drug effect. Generally, the isoniazide, uh, ethambutol, rifampicin, and pyridoxine for the nine months are required. Uh, the use of pyrazinamide is a controversial, but WHO still recommend the as a part of first line drug in the uh, pregnancy. Breastfeed is allowed once the uh, uh, patient becomes the non-infections as the drug concentration in the breast milk is very low. On the, in the uh, conclusion, there is no uh, disease process as typical as a tuberculosis. The proper history, strong suspicion, and timely treatment can cure the disease. I use a tra traditional imaging modality of the choice. CT uh, has uh, increasing its important role. Uh, ATT is the mainstay of the therapy, and surgery is an important object. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Saurabh. Uh, Dr. Yadav, please go ahead. <coughs> so, uh, Saurabh, yes, sir. What is the, in, why? Nephrectomy is being done in non-functioning kidney in case of uh, due tuberculosis. Sir, if the uh, like uh, tuberculosis is persistent uh, despite of the ATT treatment, so there is a persistent source of uh, one. What next? Sir, second could be like a uh, medically resistant hypertension. It can. It is not necessary. Yes, sir. If it is there, then you have to go. What yes, else? Sir. Or and uh, it can be if associated with any mass coexisting. No, if it is there, then you have to go for surgery. Why yes. the kidney is non-functioning and clear-cut case of due tuberculosis? Why there is need of doing nephrectomy? One is right. See, there yes, are uh, presence of the bacteria yes, sir. in the parenchyma or in the mass. Yes. What next? This um, complication associated complication associated with this. I suppose there is, is there is any possibility of renocolic fistula? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, or, or, sir. 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 If there is hypertension, then you have to go. If there is mass, then there is no choice. Whether it is TB or not, you have to go for the definitive mm -hmm. treatment. <laughs> Why uh, the liquid, uh, which is more sensitive, liquid or solid medium is more sensitive? For detecting tuberculosis in the urine, sir, uh, solid is more preferred one, but it takes longer. No, time. it is preferred. It is cheaper one. Cheaper. It is more. Yes. The liquid is more effective, or uh, this uh, solid medium is more effective. If, uh, effective is solid one, sir. But sensitivity, yes. Sensitivity. So why well, there is sometimes there is calcium case, there, there is a fibrosis and another is cagation, the disease. Yes. On which factor depend that there will be cagation, there is possibility of cagation or there is possibility of fibrosis? Sir, so, uh, depending on the uh, uh, immune system of the patient. Mm. Uh, how? Sir, so, uh, like uh, if uh, the, like fibrosis is generally the later on uh, like uh, during the treatment process the when we take the tuberculosis uh, ATD treatment when no 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 if 
it it means ki it will happen only if you, one is taking anti tubercular treatment it is not like this yes, if the immunity of individual is good then yes, there will be more fibrosis yes sir it will try to confine that disease in a particular area if yes, the immunity is poor virulence of the organism is more there is more destruction okay yes sir so depend on the immunity of the host mainly it is the immunity of the host yes sir what are the other varieties of the mycobacteria that can lead to picture similar to that of uh, tubercular mycobacterium tubercular human type yes sir like sarcoidosis uh... which is typical in sarcoidosis this green rheumatoid disease ha eh? what happened in the sarcoidosis टिंग and typically uh, in tuberculosis form there may be a uh, langerhans and giant cells which are generally found in uh, tuberculosis or granulomas or what in sarcoidosis uh, so generally they they are non caseating type of granulomas in the sarcoidosis and according to you it is a dome of the bladder is more common side of this why not the trigone where there is more concentration of bacteria is coming and opening the trigonal area so uh, because the like uh, dome is the most uh, uh, dome is less exposed part exposed part yeah if first if urine is coming it is in contact with the trigon for longer duration right? for longer duration the less less duration dome is contact in the urine for a lesser duration this is more common majority time uh, one is up and about nahi right? तो yes, नीचे का पोर्शन होगा लोअर पोर्शन विल बी मोर अफेक्टेड और हम कांटेक्ट विद द ट्यूबरक्यूलस व्हाई इट इज द डोम सर अह व्हाई द डोम इज मोर फ्रीक्वेंट साइड फॉर द टीसीसी ऑफ द ब्लड हम्म Okay, Pritham, you Very asked good. the question. No? Pritham, can you tell? No, sir, I don't know. Ah, you asked the question. Okay. So when you knew that the dome is the commonest site, but uh, you must have been knowing it. Yes, anybody? okay so uh, uh, any any faculty member any other faculty member or uh, resident would like to ask any question query comment on the presentation we have a few people from uh, outside our um, department also who have joined us if you have any query or any comment to make please go ahead so in the meantime when somebody is asking i would just uh, mention a few with the permission of the moderator uh, a few interesting things about uh, you must know a little bit of the history of uh, tuberculosis also uh, the tuberculosis is probably one of the oldest infectious disease maybe uh, 8000 10000 years evidence we have that the tuberculosis was there uh, even at such an uh, at such a early period and even mummies uh, have been shown to have uh, tubercular lesions and um, you know 18 first uh, tuberculosis was first uh, uh, was named by uh, which scientists any 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 idea oxford university yeah robert cox no robert cox actually discovered the tubercular bacilli right so he had a great uh, contribution in the tubercular so this name was given by johan lucas in 1930 1834 
right? And then, uh, yes, uh, Robert Koch in 1882, he uh, discovered the tubercular bacilli, and, uh, which uh, actually uh, revolutionized the whole thing. And we could actually know the uh, main origin and no cause of tuberculosis. And then uh, definitely the Rontgen who discovered X-rays was very helpful in monitoring these patients of tuberculosis. So both of these uh, scientists got Nobel Prize for this only, you know? uh, Robert Koch and Rontgen both. And uh, the genitourinary tuberculosis term was coined by some other scientist. Anybody knows it? So genitourinary tuberculosis was coined by Hans Wildbolz in 1937. Right. So this is probably genital urinary tuberculosis is the uh, third commonest extrapulmonary tuberculosis in our country, particularly the developing countries and second commonest in developed countries. And almost two to 20 percent of these uh, extrapulmonary tuberculosis would be uh, developing genital urinary tuberculosis within five to 15 years. And one of the important uh, Presentation, as uh, Saurabh has already said, that could be infertility, not only in females, but also in males. So male could be presenting with obstructive vasospermia. And then another uh, presentation, which can result in not only infertility, but also sexual dysfunction. So that is an ejaculation. So patients who have uh, involvement of the prostate, which can be directly involved by hematogenous spread uh, in these yeah. patients, can yeah. develop an ejaculation. And, and ejaculation means there is no ejaculate because it's not only just a low volume ejaculate where the ejaculatory duct gets obstructed. Here, the whole, all the prosthetic ducts which are responsible for giving the secretions into the semen gets blocked. So there is a total blockage of the secretions. So there is no ejaculation. It's a called dry ejaculate. So this is uh, what would be one of the common presentation in a case of tubercular prostatitis, right? And uh, there are case reports which have shown that when you give intravesical BCG installation following CA bladder, right? These patients have developed prostatic tuberculosis also. There have been case reports. So that is one of the interesting part of this. And the commonest uh, males are more, uh, have this genital tuberculosis than females. And uh, this occurs more in the fourth and fifth decade, though uh, it can occur in even children and old people. So definitely this is a challenging uh, thing and we uh, have to be very uh, uh, kind of a, have a very high suspicion of tuberculosis, particularly in our country. If the patient has recurrent urinary tract infections, not responding to antibiotics, they have uh, a kind of a very long period of irritative urinary symptoms which are not responding to other drugs, we should think of uh, having a genital urinary tuberculosis in these patients and uh, need to investigate these patients. Very important, right? Anybody else has anything to say? I, I would request the residents to be more proactive here you have to ask questions. If you do not ask questions the next time, we would be uh, we would have to do something for it, right? So you know, need to ask some questions, give some comments. Uh, what uh, he has not probably left out in the presentation, or probably you think it's not correct. Like IVU, he said that there's a gold standard still, but there is a debate on that. With a very good CT urogram, this would be almost almost 99% equal to a good IVU. Because many of times IVU is also not good, right? Unless you have a very good uh, IVU, you would not uh, have those early lesions picked up. So even a good CT gram would almost be equal to a uh, IVU. And that main disadvantages of an intravenous urogram is, if suppose the patient has a poorly functioning kidney or a delayed functioning kidney, there would be no function and you would not get any image. Right, only a calcification will be there, and then uh, if there are other features like if there is a tuberculoma, if there is abscess cavity, all these will be picked up by CT on. There, if there are other lesions uh, with, uh, in and around the kidney, they will be picked up only by CT scan. So, CT scan, a good CT urogram 
is probably becoming the gold standard rather than IVU. But still, if you do not have a good CT aerogram, definitely IVU, good IVU would pick up uh, more early lesions in genital and Anybody else? So if uh, nobody has any query, nobody as I would uh, uh, request Dr. Yadav to please uh, uh, give his last comments and uh, give vote of thanks and uh, wrap up this session. Yeah. So uh, thank you, uh, thank you everybody. Any Anybody who has joined from outside like Preetam Nandi and others, uh, would you like to comment anything? Okay, thank you, thank you very much, everybody. Uh, thanks all the residents and faculty members. Sir, and sir. Uh, yes, Nachiket, please go ahead. Sir, I think that uh, Nandi should give some comments. This is because his uh, thesis in MCH uh, was on genital urinary tuberculosis, and it was a beautiful thesis. Yeah, so many signs. Uh, so many signs. Jitne signs Nandi ji ke thesis mein hai, tuberculosis mein hai, I have not been able to come over any book which has got so many signs. Uh, Priya Ranjan, Nandi, please uh, unmute yourself. Dr. Nandi, if you are there, please unmute yourself. I think he has probably uh, gone somewhere keeping his laptop open. Uh, anyway, so um, we might ask him sometime later, sometime later. So thank you. Uh, if nobody has any other comment to make, uh, I thank all the residents and faculty members and have a good day. Thank you very much. Thank you and have a good day, sir. Thank you.